Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is. I don't know why I have to pause. Day five of the Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. We have another food problem, but today it is an easy one, so let's get to it. Uh, I'm going to do a bonus extra problem because if it's easy, and especially if I do it very quickly, but maybe I make 10 mistakes and I just don't do it. Uh, I, I did some exercises at the gym today, uh, but I am still going up for a four mile run. I think four mile. Maybe I double check the schedule. I had a four or five. So uh, it is what it is. Life of uh, life of someone who is not in shape. Works so hard to be barely average at all these things I do. So it is what it is. Anyway, let's take a look at today's problem. We have 3477 fruits into baskets too. All right, two arrays, fruits and baskets. Fruits of I represents the quality, quantity, sorry, of the I type of fruit. Baskets J represents the capacity. All right. From left to right, place the fruits according to these rules. Each fruit type must be placed in the left most available basket with capacity greater than or equal to. Okay, makes sense. Each basket can hold only one type of fruit. Okay. If a fruit type cannot be placed in any basket, it remains unplaced. Return. So this is just simulation, right? For example, four, we just go for the big, uh, the one that it could fit. Two, we go for the one that could fit. And then five, we go for the, the one. Oh, well, then it can't start. It cannot be placed. All right. I mean, and it's equal to 100. So I guess the idea is just simulation. Maybe there's a tougher version of this. Uh, and I imagine there is. Um... Maybe and maybe we do it tomorrow, so maybe I won't spoil it. Uh, though I'm cheating a little bit anyway. If I'm, as in that, if I'm doing it tomorrow, then I already kind of have an idea. Uh, you could probably binary search on on this with like a prefix max or something like that. So actually, maybe not because you do remove stuff. So maybe you need to use like segment tree or something funky. And that's just off my head. So maybe there there is a more basic one. But for now, we can say, uh, yeah, we. <coughs> We can just go, right? So maybe we have like a use is equal to force times, uh, let's call it B, right? So we just, and then now for each basket, right? We go for, if not use of J and fruits of basket is, uh, what you might call it? Is it bigger or less than, greater than, oh no, less than you than J. Then use of J is equal to true break, right? Um, yeah. And then else, then count equals to one because we haven't matched anything. That should be good, right? I mean, it is easy after all, so definitely, uh, okay, well, oh, what, what is going on here? I, I think I meant to write this here and I just kind of went on autopilot's last whatever. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Good that this was correct because definitely very easily made a mistake. What did I do? It was only, uh, well, I say only, but five months ago. So I did the same thing actually. So, uh, except I used the found thing instead. Yeah, I mean, pretty straightforward. F times B time over B space. Yeah. That's all I have with this one. Let me know what you think. I'll do a bonus problem after this. So, yeah. Check that out if you if you feel like this was too silly. And we'll uh, do more fruits, I guess. I don't know what that means. But yeah, stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.